Hi there! And welcome back to my art life! For today's episode, I will be coloring Steve Armstrong from the hit 70s mecha anime, Voltes 5. And of course, I will be completing this illustration using Crayola crayons. I'd also like to thank all of you for the warm responses I got from doing these kind of art. I really didn't expect for the response to be this much. I very much appreciate your support to my channel. Okay. With that being said, let's now talk about more of today's illustration. So again, our illustration for today is Steve Armstrong from Voltes 5. Steve is originally named Kenichi Go on the Japanese version of the anime series. I was inspired to make a fan art of him because of the live action series that's going to air in GMA7 in the Philippines entitled Voltes 5 Legacy. The trailer looked so awesome with all the amazing CG effects. The actors will also be played by local Filipino actors, where Steve will be played by Miguel Tanfelix. Here's also a little bit of history between the Philippines and Voltes 5, and why it was so popular up to now. Voltes 5 Legacy is a live-action television adaptation by GMA Network of the Japanese anime television series Chodenji Machine Voltes 5, that was produced by Toei Company and Sunrise. The anime is commonly known in the Philippines as Voltes 5. GMA Network acquired the rights to make a live-action adaptation through Telesuccess Productions, Toei's Philippine licensee. Voltes 5 was first broadcasted in the Philippines on May 5, 1978, on GMA Network with English dubbing. It was banned by then-President Ferdinand Marcos on August 27, 1979, citing harmful effects on children, with four remaining episodes being unaired. The ban was allegedly due to the storyline of Voltes 5 being an uprising to oppression and a call for a revolution. After the 1986 People Power Revolution that resulted to Marcos' removal from office, the anime was re-aired on Philippine television in the 1980s to 2010s. Up to now, Voltes 5 remained as popular as ever, as it left an everlasting mark in the hearts and minds of Filipinos, including its culture and history. As of this time I still have not heard of an official release date yet but I hope we could get to hear more about its premiere soon. Although, if you haven't heard of the anime series before, I suggest you look it up and watch the anime series. It's a real retro trip back to memory lane. I have re-watched the series and it's so nice to see how anime has evolved throughout the years. The animation from the original 1970s version isn't that great in comparison to what we have now, but the storyline remains as awesome as it was back then. I was also thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if they were to remake the series to have a more updated look, with added CG effects? Just like how Netflix has remade some of the series from the 80s. Now that's gonna be something to look out for. If you have watched the original anime series though, what do you think about Voltes 5? What are the things that you like most in the series? Who's your favorite character among the five Voltes 5 pilots and what do you think could be done better if it was remade into a modernized version? For me, I like the storyline as it was a mix of both action and drama. With the Armstrong brothers longing to find their missing father while doing their best to fight the aliens who are trying to conquer Earth. As for the characters, I like Jamie and Big Bert. Jamie is one badass female character. She may be a girly girl, but when it comes to fighting the bad guys, she's really kick-ass with her ninja skills. Big Bert on the other hand is someone I can relate to. He's big and strong, but he's also gentle with a kind heart. Overall, I think GMA7's Voltes 5 Legacy will be one awesome series, and I can't wait for its premiere. I just hope the production didn't run into issues, because it seems they still haven't got a release date as of this time. Anyways that's it for my rant on Voltes 5. And by the way, if you enjoyed today's episode, please give this video a like and a thumbs up, and while you're at it, I hope you also consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue making videos like these. With regard using crayons for coloring, if you have any questions about the process and techniques I use, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I always read every comment and personally reply to each one. I have also made a video about crayon techniques a while back so you may want to check that out as well. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and hanging on till the end of the video. You all have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.